Ever since the full game is out, Wooly have been acting strange and turns out my suspicion on Wooly in this full game is confirmed. In this video, we will go tape by tape and see what's the hidden message that Rebecca have left for us and I will prove to you all that Wooly is not what he seems to be. So let's not waste any time and let's see the clues that Rebecca have left for us. Before we look at the clues, there's something you need to know. Rebecca is Amanda and she's trying to gain control over that character. You'll know that Rebecca was in control and talking to us when the screen darkens or white static appeared. Answering wrongly would lead to Rebecca gaining control faster, which is why we get to see more emotions whenever we made Amanda angry. However, she can't do this all the time. This is why Wooly was kept near her all the time. The first thing that I want you to look out for is the part here where Wooly was ignored by Amanda. Now, during my first playthrough, I thought that Amanda was being mean and evil to ignore him. But having played through the entirety of the game and knowing Amanda's backstory, this scene gave me a different meaning now. This shows that Amanda and Wooly was not even that close. The way Amanda look at Wooly is of pure annoyance. And I'm Wooly! Amanda, maybe some of our friends can come back to the neighborhood? That's great! Mmm... Everything smells so good. I want to buy my friend some buy my friend some cookies. Be honest. Which one do you look first in that split second where the screen changes? I'm going to bet it's Amanda's reaction that you're going to focus the most, but that's where you are wrong. Look at Bully. We didn't notice him because Amanda's reaction took our attention away, but when I looked at him, I was shocked to find that there's no hint of surprise that Amanda gave out the reaction of her wanting to throw up. He just stood there, looking at her coldly. So the scene changed where Amanda wanted to send gift to her friend. This is where I noticed Wooly is acting weird again. Amanda wanted to send the gift to Kate, but noticed the look she gave when Wooly said that it's getting late and she can't send them now. So, we need to mail it! Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. She was angry at Bully but calmed down and insisted that she will send the gift. The scene changes to the post office and again we see Wooly with a worried face. Now why do I say worry instead of sad? Well the scene after this, Amanda showed a sign of being brainwashed and Wooly is actively trying to prevent her from remembering. Amanda forgot the name of her friend and here Wooly looked happy and he insisted that they come back tomorrow. But if we type in the name wrongly, notice how Wooly gets increasingly worried and when we got the right name, he gave a sigh of not relief but rather someone who have given up and just didn't care anymore. Another important thing that we miss here is that in the credit, it shows briefly the name Danny McQuiggan who worked as a containment specialist. As far as we know, there is no one being contained in this game. So there's only one thing that I could think of. What if this is Rebecca giving us a hint that she is out there, somewhere being contained? Her physical body, anyone? If you remember in the previous version, we did get a map to a certain location and when we got to that place, there are three holes that we need to dig. This might be far-fetched but I do believe that this might be where the real body was stored and that this guy called Danny McQuiggan might have been there to guard the place. My pet something. Happen. In this clip, Amanda wanted to tell us something bad had happened, but she can't because the demon was watching her. And then Wooly steps in and tries to divert the attention to him by making it seem like Amanda was supposed to send him a gift instead of Kate. Manipulating us to pick a birthday card instead of the thank you card for Kate. Are you sure that's right? I don't that looks like it. There it is again. Every time Amanda have question or remember something, the screen darkens. Now at first I thought that this is where the demon tries to interfere, but we now know that this is Rebecca trying to gain control and remembering what happened. This next series of clip is the rare instance where Rebecca managed to be in full control and didn't want to go through the meat house. We know that she didn't like it as the clip before showed us that she hated meats. Probably because it reminds her of herself quote unquote rotting somewhere. The demon here had to use its full force as seen with the red static to force thing back on track. In the tape everything rots, we see Rebecca gaining control again. This is when she used the opportunity to send hint to the player about what happened to her. But Bully catch on to what she's trying to do and try to stop her by repeatedly reminding Amanda to not talk about this stuff. 
but Amanda, or rather Rebecca, didn't listen and keep on going. In one of the secret tapes, we learn that Sam went missing and the cause is, well, unknown. When Amanda talks about the dead fox, she showed us a gun, a knife, and later a bear trap. Now, I might be wrong on this one, but previously I thought the dead fox was Rebecca's way of hinting about what happened to her. But what if, instead of her, it's about her adoptive dad, Sam Colton? The bear trap could symbolize Sam getting caught in a trap set up by Hamlin who wanted to get rid of him. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. Gone too far? Wooly is here again manipulating us by making Amanda look bad. He knew she was sending the hints and even the entity tries to stop her from sending it. You know it was the entity when the screen turns red. The demon was trying to gain control. Here we see the screen turns bright red when Amanda gave us the hint that her physical body is rotting somewhere. And the quote somewhere far could be in the location where we had to dig up one of the three holes. The screen show red static again. This is the demon trying to get things back on track again since Rebecca had been controlling the entire time but it failed, so Wooly stepped in. We know Wooly was a cowardly sheep, but in this instant, he suddenly break the act. This showed us that the cowardly act that he portrayed was an act all along. And when Amanda kept going, Wooly kept interfering, to the point where Amanda gets annoyed but Wooly kept going anyway. This showed us that the whole rotting thing was a big matter to him, and he desperately doesn't want Amanda to dig even further. What do you think? You think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. Here we see Amanda and Wooly went to the zoo and at one point, Amanda went off topic that made Wooly look at Amanda differently. Almost as if he didn't expect that line and when Wooly tries to tell that to Amanda, she told him that the animals don't talk. Here, I believe, Amanda is trying to take away Wooly's interference by telling us that Wooly is an animal. Animals don't talk. She then showed us a distorted clip of a pig which I can only assume that to be a hint for us that she was being controlled by the demons that were summoned by Hamlin. It's not actually random because in the past, pigs are always associated with demons. I don't have much time. Do you trust me? Fool me once, Wooly, you can. But fool me twice? <laughs> I won't trust you anymore. Jokes aside, this second version of the Oh No Accident tape is my favorite. At first, it might look like Amanda was getting crazier here and killed Bully, but remember what I said. Whenever Rebecca is in control, the screen darkened or white static can be seen. Throughout the entirety of this tape, white static is present. This tells us that Rebecca was in fact in control all this time. This tells us that Rebecca was in control in this tape. But still, she can't do much as Wooly said, Wooly! Ready for an adventure? Amanda! I know you can't- Despite fully controlling Amanda, Rebecca still need to do it in a roundabout way so that the demons doesn't catch on to what she's doing. Thankfully, the demons control over this tape was pretty loose so Amanda can control other things. This is why she showed us Wooly's head and claimed that something is wrong with it. This obviously work and fool the demon as there is no static that interferes here. Wooly is given a sleeping drug so that he could not snitch to the demon. <laughs> I tricked you! We're going to use all three! I think what she's talking here is that she fooled the demon because her tone when she answered to us is a bit different and much more kinder. Lastly, when she knocked out Wooly, what she did here was not her being evil, but rather it's something that must be done so that she could freely tell us the biggest secret without any interruption from anything. All these things just showed us that Rebecca is a victim that was wrongfully used by Hamlin. She's trying desperately to send a hint to anyone that watches the tape but the demon always get them and not only that, Wooly was there to prevent her from doing anything that wasn't in line with Hamlin. What makes Wooly more suspicious is that most of what we know of him, like the theory that he is Amanda's sibling or someone who Kate know, didn't appear. This makes him a total stranger. There's also this weird code that when translated showed us the word who is Wooly further fueling the theory that Wooly can't be trusted. As much as I wanted Wooly to be the good guy here, there is too much suspicious thing going on here and I can't bring myself to trust him anymore. Anyway, if you do enjoy this, do like the video, subscribe for more, and check out my other Amanda the Adventure content.